I'm Jenny Graham Hoosier, and I am a realistic painter and an art instructor. Um, we're here today, we're going to be doing some painting together uh, with acrylic paint, and our project is called Geopoppin. So, Geopoppin with acrylic paint. This is set for 6th to 8th graders. So, welcome. A uh, little bit about our project today. We'll use canvas paper and acrylic paint to create five paintings based on interesting designs that you'll create. You'll get plenty of experience mixing paint and painting, as well as becoming familiar with some artist terms. All right, so we are going to now move on to our fourth project, and our fourth project is painting an object with pop in perspective. So we're going to basically make an object in the center. It could be anything. I choose a sailboat because it is summer, and I have a line, a horizon line in the back. Um, the way that I did that, I just kind of drew this shape and then I took my sturdy old ruler because we're going to be using a ruler today and I lined up my pencil mark right at the edge of my drawing. I didn't want my line to go all the way through my drawing. I wanted my line to go up to the edge. So I just did a line there and I did a line on the other side to create something that looks like a horizon line. So it's like this is water, this is sky. So this is what we're going to start with our drawing. So we are actually going to have our drawing, but we're going to paint right over top of it. You should be able to see it after you paint. You should be able to still see your paint, um, your drawing lines, which is good. If you can't, no problem. You can just do your drawing again with the line over top of it. But let's get started. And my background color, I will choose to be I'm going to take my bigger brush because I'm doing my background color. And I'm going to choose, I'm just going to choose blue and white because this color is going to be what is going to be up here. So I'm just going to kind of go over top of everything. And you can see that my pencil line can, still shows through. It's just the way that the paint is when you make it nice and thin like this, like when you scrape your paintbrush back and forth. It just is thin enough that you can still see your object that you've drawn. Now if I decided to like use a different brush and my brush was really dry and I went on here and made it really dark, it'd be harder to see. But because I am thinning it back and forth and back and forth a lot, then I can still, I can still see it. I still see my drawing. Now I really want my image to pop. So that is why I want to have a solid background. I want to have a solid like colored background and then I'm going to spend some time filling in this object. But first I want to make the background. So I want my object, which is my sailboat, I want my sailboat to pop out. So that's why I painted behind my sailboat. Now, let's say I can't see it that well, or I completely went over top of it. You can just take your pencil and draw over top of it when it's dry or when it's wet, whatever. You can draw over top of it when it is dry. And I have a little bit of extra space right there. There you go. All right, so I have my background for the top half. The bottom half, I want my object to pop so I'm going to do something really fun. I'm going to make rays of light. See, it's not light, but <laughs> I'm going to make shapes. I'm going to make lines that are coming off of the hull of my ship, the bottom of my drawing. I'm going to have lines come out, perspective lines. I'm going to have the lines kind of come out like this is the sun, and the sun's rays are coming out from it. So. It'll be at diagonals until it gets to the center, and then it's going to be totally vertical. And then it's going to go all the way into diagonals until it goes horizontal with this line that's right here. So I will be using my trusty ruler as a guide. So I will start out with the line right there for my object. And from there, I'm just going to start just drawing lines out. And they do not have to be perfect. You just need to start at your object, the bottom of my sailboat, and then 
come out. So you'll remember that it'll be smaller, the shape will be smaller up here than it will be down here, just like the sun. And when you get towards the center, you'll want it to be vertical, totally up and down, just vertical. And then spin it. Again, no need for total exactness here. All right, I am happy with my lines coming out. Now I'm going to spend some time filling in the lines with a smaller brush. So if you have a smaller brush, go ahead and grab it. And then you can take black and then you can, we're going to do patterns. So black, white, black, white, black, white, black, white, all the way until you get to the other side. Now you'll want to stick with one color at a time. Black and white isn't technically a color, but you'll want to stick with one of them at a time. So I'm just going to stick with black. I know that that's white, so I'm going to just go over it. This one's black. It's white. I'm going to go over it. Black. So that's how you're going to do it. You're going to stick with one color at a time. All right. All right. So I have done every other of these rays with black and I'm just going to leave it white. I don't really need to paint in white because the paper's white. If you want to use a different color to paint in, you can. You want to use yellow, you want to use red, whatever it is that you want. That's totally fine. But now you can go ahead and paint in your object. You can take some of the skills that you've learned earlier. So my hull is going to be a tinted orange. So I don't have an orange here, as you can see. I have to mix my orange. So I'm going to take some red, I'm going to take some yellow, and I'm going to make an orange. And I said I want to tint it. So what I, what I mean when I say tint it means that I want to lighten it a little bit. So I need to grab some white. It's not enough white for me. I want to tint it a little bit more. It's a painted ship. This is not going to be a totally, in my mind, I'm going to have it be a tinted hull that is orange, an orange tint. So kind of a light, a light orange. So I can go over it quite a few times to make sure I go over top of this blue back, black background. The hole's complete, so I'm going to just rinse off my brush and I'm going to make a sail. And I'm going to have a shaded green. So I want my sail to be green, and so I know that blue and yellow make green, so I'm going to make that over here. I want it to be shaded, so I want it to be darker. So I've already got a pretty dark green because it's just the pure color. And I kind of like that actually. So I'm going to have this that looks very dark already because the blue is a dark, it's a very dark hue. I got the green and it's on this background that looks pretty light to me. So this, it's actually medium tone. This is totally light. This is kind of dark. This is medium tone. It's a mid tone. So I may choose to tint this green with some black, or I may choose to leave it like this. I'm not sure yet. So I'll just have this kind of go up. All right, while it is um, still wet, I'm just gonna use the back of my bra back of my handle. I'm just gonna go like this to make a fun little design on it and a little bit of black make a little outline around the outside because you can get kind of creative and draw a little bit with your with your object draw with paint all right so i feel pretty complete with this and i'm happy with it i really feel like my object is popping out of the paper um like I can actually walk up to it and get inside and go for a virtual sale.